Good morning everybody and in this video we are going to be performing a very important exercise that is data modeling. We have a problem given to us and we are essentially going to learn how to model this. Okay. You are a senior software engineer at ABC Corporation. Um, uh, you are building an internal platform which will allow the company to search across from the items. You are a senior developer and the front end te team has asked you to design a back end uh design a backend which can power the react app so the the developers front end people are making their application in react your manager have asked you to use dynamo db uh, as a database for choice uh there are following items uh, the your manager said or your front end team said there are uh, following um, items that you expect in an author an author will have an author id author will have a name author will have a birthday and will have a phone number the books will have following attributes, a book ID, book name, book ISPN number and books category. The access pattern that you're given is fetch all the items for a given author, fetch all the books for a given author, fetch book A for an author B and for book A and author B fetch the author's phone number. You want to design a DynamoDB data database for this. So how do we achieve this, right? I'll be trying to show, show you in this example. Uh, we will be using a concept of two-way uh, embedding, uh, right? I'll show you a small diagram that I have taken from AWS, uh, one of the videos that I s saw. So kindly pay your attention on the, uh, on the on this section, authors, right? Uh, again, the concept will be the same, right? So an author has several books, right? So this is the author collection where you can see you have an author and author has many books, right? So we are referencing the many part in the author collection. Now let's go to the book section. Books category and books has several author. So in the books collection, we are referencing the author part, okay? Now let's start modeling this, right? How, how do we even achieve um, the, these, right? So I'll share my Excel and then I'll go over the access pattern. Again, how did I come with this? I'll, uh, again, uh, this is the diagram that I've been following. So first we'll, let's, focus our attention on the author. We are gonna use the reference, okay? Reference model here. So here I, ha I have an author. Author has a name, has a phone number uh, and a birthday, right? Author has many books, right? B1 and B2. So observe how I'm modeling my secondary key. So author one, hash one, this is author one, has book B1, author has book B2, right? See how I model it? Author two has big book two, right? So author two, and observe my cursor as well here, okay? Author two has book two, right? So this is essentially one to many, and author has many books, right? Now, we are defining the fields over here. Now, the way you would reference is, the way you wanna reference this is, you will add a column called GSI one. And again, this will make sense why we are doing that. So for example, again, observe the diagram. We have B1 and B2 for author one, right? So observe B1 and B2, right? For author two, we have B2. So we have B2 over here, right? Now, what happens is basically, you know, when you essentially create a column and reference the author entity, you can set up a GSI and that becomes my access pattern. So now I can query for a given book, give me all the authors. So let me show you, uh, I've already added that. So, so remember, this is a GSI that we set, right? So uh, over here, so now I can say for a book two, who are the authors for that book? So I can say author one and author two, right? These are the names, John Doe and John Jane Doe, right? So I could easily see how I'm referencing it. And then that becomes my access pattern through which I can access my data, right? Similarly, now focus your attention towards the books book entity. A uh, books has several authors, author one and author two. So book B1 has author one, observe your book one, author one, book one, author two. So books, has many authors. Now again, we are gonna use the reference, okay? So we're gonna create a column called GSI2 and we're gonna reference the many part. So in the books, what is the many part? It's the author. So we're gonna reference the author in the in, 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 over here. So now again, my next access pattern becomes for a given author, fetch, fetch me all the books. So now I go to here, I can say for a given author, which are the books he wrote? So he wrote the book one, book two, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You see how the data is flowing? You see how we are modeling this, right? So what we learn from this is when you have a many to many, right? When you have a many to many items, always reference the many in the primary entity or the secondary entity, right? So for example, in the author, 
I'm referencing the book over here and in the books I'm referencing the author and those two reference becomes my GSI GSI 1 GSI 2 and now I can query my data so just to show you this is how the table looks like I can say for author 1 and for uh, for example for uh, I, I, I can say here for an author I can sort on these right I can I, I can sort easily here right but if I want to access for example for a given book who are the authors who uh, wrote that book, right? So I can say for book two, there are author John Doe and Jane Doe, right? I could do that. I can also set up a, a, a sort key on the name, depending upon your access pattern, you can uh, put a sort key, right? Again, now that becomes my second access pattern that is author has multiple books, right? See how we are modeling many to many using DynamoDB, right? We are using two GSIs here, right? Now, here is a brain teaser question for you. This is absolutely great. If you got this concept, great. But if you did not got the concept, so I'll, I'll try my best again to go over here. So the reference part over here, observe my cursor. So that becomes my access pattern, which means for a given author, I can fetch all the related book. I can filter through the books, right? Similarly for the books, oops, for the books, observe over here. For the books, I can get all the corresponding author and then if needed, I can filter through them, right? That, 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 that is also possible, right? So that's how you would model many to many in Dynamo. Now, as a, as a teaser question, right? You have a book category, right? What if there are multiple categories and you decided that the, the, the author decided you also want to do a search across category. So for a category, give me all the books that you have for that category. How do you do that? Now, that's where it becomes tricky. Pause the video, I'll give you the solution, okay? So the solution is this. So what we do here is instead of a array, right? We break that down into the many part. I'm sorry about that. So listen what I did for a book. Book has category drama. This Observe over here, okay? I'll zoom in here. So yeah, so a book has, so the, the book B1 has author one, has category drama and sci-fi. Now see what happens. This becomes my, guess what? GSI, that's right. So now, if you understood this concept pretty well, try to put this in paint, okay? So if, if you did understand the concept, what I'm saying, so now I can have this as my PK. I can say, for a given category, fetch me all the books, right? I can fetch all the books, right? So I will get all these items. And then I can set this as a sort key over here observe my cursor over here, right? So I hopefully this exercise made sense. This is a very important uh, to learn. If you don't know modeling, it becomes really hard. Uh, again, then you just hack your way through and the database performance suffer. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did enjoy, please do share with your colleagues and coworkers so they can also learn uh, some nice, amazing techniques on modeling uh, items in DynamoDB. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.